And now for our weekly news segment. Tony! Hello, Tony. How's it going? <laughs> so much better than Twitter, though. We get to see yeah. be- beautiful Tony. <laughs> this beautiful smile. Look, look, at all hair. look you're shining. <laughs> like the, the youngest guy in, in Twitter. I mean, in, uh, in Venera. <laughs> Wait, one second. Sorry. Because um, I'm kind of. Uh, Oh my god. Uh, uh, technical difficulties. Yeah, I have like three different screens. Wait, sorry, I couldn't pay attention to what you said. It's a little abstract here trying to do it. Um StreamYard and Twitter at the same time. Yeah. So the thing is, because I already have all the links in the correct order. Just, just do it on StreamYard. Yeah, just yeah, do it. Yeah. yeah. But but mute. Yeah. Whatever you got going on there. I hear, yeah, I hear we hear ourselves over yeah. there. For okay. some reason, so yeah, let's let's do it. Wait, then let me... we'll we'll move over to Twitter for the for the special guest. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Yeah, let's do. Wait, sorry guys, give me one second. <laughs> <laughs> wait, so we had Alexander, and then she just yeah, no, she keeps shutting in and out. She's saying actually, she's having issues. So okay. I'll, I'll deal. Tell with her it to go into the, the space. Tell her to go into the Twitter space. Yeah, and to oh. listen there, and then we'll uh, we'll move over there. So okay. It'll be our... One of our special guests. Okay. okay, sounds like a plan. Okay, Tony, guys. So, um, your screen. Yes, the way this is gonna work out is uh, we're gonna try something different. So I'm going to share my screen, and we're going to go over the news, and then I'm going to, um, I'm gonna going to drop the link in on Twitter Spaces, and you guys can follow along. And if you have anything to add or anything to say. Uh, then we can interact together for the news. So we're going to try this out and see how it goes. Yeah, the um, only thing is, though, I don't think we'll be able to interact with the Twitter space as you're doing the news, right? Because of the way we got it. We can. That's why I have the earpiece. So I'm going to do it through here. And I'm low volume on Twitter spaces for that. Yes. <laughs> you cannot hear... Multitasking, multitasking. The, the anchor, the anchor. I'm paying attention to Twitter spaces, to YouTube, and I see that. Everywhere. <laughs> Everywhere, so let's get really into a disaster it. in the making. No, right, I don't know. Over. I have faith. I have faith in us. We did it last week. We'll do it again. Dude, Go, Tony. Go, Tony. Let's do it again. Okay, let's get into it. Um, Share your screen. There you go. Okay, perfect. So, first of all, for the people watching on Twitter Spaces, you might want to join us on YouTube so that you can actually see the news um, as well, and not just hear them. Um, but if not, of course, that's you can say to our spaces and just um, listen. So let's talk about and let me actually share the first or I'm I'm probably just going to share the actual um, articles, not like memes and stuff like that. Yeah, so that makes yeah. It easier. The articles on Twitter. So let's do that. Um, the first thing that I have, um, I found it humorous. So it's a meme and it says, Stoshi builds Bitcoin to eliminate the need for trusted thir- third parties. Humans gives Bitcoin to trusted third parties. Trusted third parties steals Bitcoin. Humans <laughs> shot. <laughs> Which I thought it was. Uh, I thought it was funny. Yeah, it, it's interesting to see the human nature. Like we build something so that was supposed to be honest and supposed to liberate people, and then some came along and put. A cage around it and try to sway it into a different direction. So we, we I thought it was towards centralization. So it's human nature. <laughs> yes, essentially. Yeah, people want to capitalize on power, and we see that in crypto and and everywhere. Now let's talk about uh, a website called Dead Cater, which is re- redacted backwards. Um, they wrote an article on Monero, the anonymous bank account. And I'm not sure exactly what this site is about because it looks like um, a hacker's forum website for, let's, let's actually see. Um, hold on, I'm click click on, on the link. Um, they offer all kinds of, <laughs> of services, self-defense, criminology, decision-making. So I'm not sure what this is about, but they made an article on Monero and why you should use Monero, and that's what matters. That is being appreciated. <laughs> so I just wanted to touch on that. Now, 
let's talk about FTX. And I'm just going to share three things. We're not going to go into details on it because we've already talked about it. And there's just so much that we could talk about. And there's better people to explain than me. Uh, but just how the media portrays um, FTX and SAM. So WSJ Markets tweeted, when Sam Bankman frees crypto empire went down in flames, so did his plans to save the world. Um, which just shows how they make it seem like he's a hero and it wasn't as bad. And oh yeah. wow, that was the that was how, that was what the Wall Street Journal said. Yeah, allegedly. And then Uri said they can't keep getting away with this. <laughs> it's unbelievable. I think he's he he's supposed to be scheduled to be doing a live talk for the New York Times, right? He's on a, mm -hmm. on a panel, I think this week. Yeah, I've seen that. He's going to be on a panel allegedly with uh, Mark Zuckerberg and all kinds of people. <laughs> so should be interesting. That's <laughs> it's unbelievable. It's entertaining. It's highly entertaining. I mean, this is why you, you can't blame the, you know, the the media for doing this, right? It's, it's highly uh -huh. entertaining. But it, it's pretty scary that they're kind of giving this guy a second chance, putting him up on a pedestal almost. Yeah, and, and just kind of it just shows that these news outlets have ties, uh, have the political ties, you know? Oh, yeah. Because why would they? Clearer than it's ever. Really yeah, it's very clear. Um, and then I, I want to share two more things on FTX. This was very, very funny, actually. The Wall Street Journal pr profiled FTX customers who might lose their deposits and led with a 25-year-old facing the loss of $800. Now... $800 is not a lot of money in the US. If you're in Africa or some other countries, yeah, that, that is actually a lot of money that someone might have lost. But I assume this individual is from the United States. So it's not a lot of money and they just make it seem like, oh, people just lost like $800, under $1,000, not much. But the reality is that people lost even millions of dollars because they had a lot of money on FTX. So the title says, FTX crypto customers worry they will never see their money again. My blood is boiling. Some were optimistic a week ago. Now they're increasingly losing hope. And moving to the next image. Drake Lyle, 25, has about $800 stock at cryptocurrency company FTX. <laughs> yeah, he's one, of, he's one of the lucky ones, right? I mean, geez, 800 bucks. Um, like you said, people lost millions. People lost their entire life savings. I mean, 800 could be somebody's life savings, but there's people that that lost many zeros worth of, uh, of crypto on FTX. Indeed. Oh, we have, uh, we have Trav. Hey, Trav from uh, the conference. He's live on YouTube. Hey, man, I hope, I hope all is good. And then we have Nightmare that he said that I'm so unprepared. <laughs> Man. I defended you. I said Kick you're always prepared. Kick him out. Kick this guy out. <laughs> Ban him. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Nightmare. Hey, Trav. Uh, moving on, we have another humorous image. Uh, someone photoshopped the Wall Street Journal um, article on Sam, and they made him super jacked, and they changed the title into Sam Bankman Freed is super jacked and handsome. The FTX founder is super hot. He's amazing, and we love him so much. Oh, my much. God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just to, of course, um, portray how ridiculous the media um, shows them to be and how much they undermine the situation. So it's, it's, it's fine. It's humorous. But that's enough on FTX. We should move on. <laughs> and uh, I'm actually going to share this one on Twitter Spaces because maybe some people want to to add stuff on it. We're, we're going to talk about Jesse Powell, the, I think now ex-CEO of uh, Kraken. He's yeah, he was the CEO. Anymore. We got to get him. We got to get him to do a, a Monero talk or a Spaces or something. Him and Kim.com. Yeah, we're trying to get Kim in this room now. I, I've been DMing him and... He's been slightly stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Like every two seconds, come on! I, think I scared him away. I mean, he must get he leaves his DMs open, so he must get like a, a hundred thousand DMs. Oh my god, um, yeah. maybe we'll get his attention. Maybe we'll get his attention. Maybe we'll see the room. 
yeah hopefully at least, at least one day um <laughs> so guys if you look on if you're on twitter spaces i shared a link right now so you can look on it as uh we're discussing it and if you have anything to say in twitter spaces or anything at all you can hop on stage and we can talk about it so tony i think i think at this point if we just move over to twitter why don't we just move over to twitter spaces you know like we did last time because then that way it'll be easier for people to participate with you with with the news Mm, like that. yeah or should i okay and then you can play the the videos for me because i have a couple of ones that i want to share uh yeah i mean that's that yeah or should we do that first like should, should i think we should go over the video formats first and then i'm going to get off here and go on twitter spaces for yeah let's do that stuff. yeah okay so let me see what i have when it comes to videos yeah let's let's do that um yeah so elon right, found we are uh at the at the much thing and there's an entire entire closet full of secret closet of hashtag woke and t-shirts here we are uh, so for the people listening um elon musk found hashtag stay woke uh t-shirts in in twitter headquarters and he found like a lot of them like a whole closet full of them um which is disturbing to see. <laughs> and I had a couple more things on it as well. We'll discuss it in a bit. Then I want to show you this little clip. This is from oops, uh, the Zengzu iPhone factory because uh, the people are revolting. Essentially, I think they were um, promised some money, which is probably not a lot anyway. And then they weren't paid, and plus some things with uh, COVID. So they're just um, protesting right now. <laughs> so for the people watching, uh, listening, um, I've sh I've shown a video of. Um, a bunch of not just people in hazmat suits and uh, shields trying to um, attack the people working in the iPhone factory. And the people from the iPhone factory are fighting back against it. So it's, um, it's insane. It's absolutely insane. And I think they are the or the second largest um, iPhone 14 producer, producers in the world. I used to see the people rising up. The only thing is when, when they rise up in China, I mean, it's uh, shit. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Um, well, I guess now I'm kind of confused. You know what? I think maybe we should, I, I'm just going to go on Twitter spaces because. Yeah, move over to Twitter spaces, Tony. <laughs> Yeah, it just makes it a lot harder because then I, yeah, let, let's, I'm going to move on to our spaces, guys. And then, um, you know, Sunita is going to. Night Nightmare is laughing, laughing his ass off. This right is now. our first time, guys. <laughs> yeah, so... sorry, guys. It, it's, it's a bit, it's, it's a bit too uh, confusing. If so you I'll love just... us, you stick through it. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, send me the links one by one, I guess, as you're talking about them, and then I'll post it accordingly. Yeah. Uh, let's let's okay, Tony. Yeah, just yeah. go strictly on Twitter spaces. Yeah, and then we're gonna we're gonna stream it here. Those that are listening on YouTube, uh, you could stay here and you'll be able to hear it. But if you and want, I'm gonna... jump in the jump in the Twitter Spaces so you can participate. A lot of people don't want to go on Twitter. Yeah. Do 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 do. I'll play some music, guys, as we're waiting. <laughs> All righty. Jeopardy. <laughs> Do, 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 do. All righty. Yep. I hear you. Okay. Um, oh, wait. I got to go. Twitter do, spaces. Do, do, do you guys can hear me? All righty. Yep. I okay, hear you. We got a thumbs up. Yeah, let, let's do. Okay. Yeah, let's um, do one oh, by wait. one. I got to go. So let's do that. Here. And share this. Sorry, guys. He's trying new stuff. So, all right. Yep. 
I I agree. Got a thumbs up. Yeah, let's let's do. Okay. Yeah, let's do um, one oh, by wait. one. I gotta. Go. So let's do that. Here. Share this. <laughs> Sorry, guys. He's trying to do stuff. So. Alrighty. Yep. I hear you. Got a thumbs up. Yeah, let's let's do. Okay. Oh wait, but now let's do one oh, by wait. one. I gotta. Go. So let's do that. Here. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Wait, but now, now, um, what's <laughs> Tony? You there? Yeah, but now we have a problem. The thing is that this is delayed, and I'll be yeah, talking to your know. delayed self. No, Tony, just just completely move over to Twitter Spaces. I did. Yeah, I did. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. No, no nothing's second. delayed. Yeah, I'm on Twitter Spaces. You're in Twitter Spaces. It should be fine. Oh, okay. Okay. It's good now. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Let's do it this way now. Sorry about that, yeah, guys. Yeah. Beautiful. Mm. Yeah. Sorry about that. Perfect. Oh, yeah. It's so much better now. Okay. So I'm I'm going to give Sunita link by link, and then we'll we'll discuss it. So, um, and let's go back and let's discuss uh, proof of reserves. Thanks for sticking with us, guys. <laughs> uh, we're trying new things. So. Um. There's always rough begin beginnings, but it gets better. So stick with us. Someone kick Nightmare. He's he's just trash talking on on YouTube. Someone kick him out. <laughs> <laughs> it's too good, Tony. Let's let's do it. Beautiful. Okay. Um. So I sent you the the link on Kraken. So if you can open that up for YouTube, but well, let's uh, talk about it. So then again, again, guys, if you have anything to say, please do hop on and let's discuss it. But uh, Kraken CEO calls Binance proof of reserves pointless. Uh, Binance re released its proof of reserves PR system, which is the next step in their effort to provide transparency on user funds in their eyes. Kraken CEO Jesse Powell takes aim at Binance's recently launched proof of reserves by calling it to be pointless. I'm sorry, but no, this is not proof of reserves. This is either ignorance or intentional misrepresentation. The Merkle tree is just hand wavy bullshit without an auditor to make sure you didn't include accounts with negative balances. The statement of assets is pointless without liabilities. He also added that Binance is misleading consumers. This is simply, this is simply, here's a hash of your record in the Bitcoin spreadsheet. Okay, but what's the point? The whole point of this is to understand whether an exchange has more crypto in its custody than it owes to clients. Putting a hash on a row ID is worthless without everything else. People who ought to know better, journalists especially, should take the time to understand this before overselling it and misleading um, consumers. And yeah, so so this is an interesting take from Jesse Powell and he's always had um truthful takes on on events which i really do appreciate uh, coming from his position as well um so yeah if anybody wants to additionally comment comment on this please uh, hop on 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 stage um Binance is constantly suspending withdrawals from an arrow and then turning it back on again um so for sure then they're not they're not showing the um the true amount that they have they have on um what we got um alex uh Demsker. 